most people with large SUVs and trucks never utilize them and are a nuisance. Note I am in the U.S. and I'm not talking about the smaller crossovers, they are obviously more practical. Unless you genuinely need to carry that many people and use the storage regularly you're just wasting gas for yourself and taking away road space from other more efficient vehicles. Also these bloated vehicles make traffic much worse by swinging out wide and slow for turns, which takes a lot more time and means other more nimble vehicles must wait. And the lead lights should be considered a massive safety concern because they obliterate any visibility at night if you dare be anywhere near a modern SUV, plus during the day the size of them makes it difficult to see what's happening sometimes. Another thing is the environmental impact of producing so many huge vehicles for people that never need the size and the massive prices of many SUVs trucks. Manufacturers want to be able to sell you more than you need they sure are loving these new SUV price tags. If people would have chosen wagons and hatchbacks instead we wouldn't be in SUV hell. Edit forgot to mention that a lot of infrastructure just wasn't built with the size and numbers of these modern trucks. I've had lots of frustrating moments because of huge consumer vehicles unintentionally blocking off lanes, taking up multiple parking spots or making a turn impossible because they just are so damn big. Edit 2 I didn't make it clear enough that in themselves I actually do like trucks and they are very important to some people, especially in rural areas. However in the city and suburbs people should think harder about if they need to be driving something so large. You are expected to have this opinion if you are on Reddit. This is far from unpopular on this website. Can we just pin this to the top of the sub so we don't have to read a new version of this opinion every week? Grew up in a small farm town and went to college in a bigger farm town. So the people that had trucks knew how to actually handle them. Since moving to Dallas just about everyone who drives a truck does not know how to drive them and a constant traffic and safety hazard. To be fair to some truck owners. You can't get new light trucks in the US anymore. Just big daddy 150s and slightly smaller 150s. No matter which car maker. Bring back light trucks I miss my old regular cab bench seat light truck that was all bed. Ford promising to bring back the Ranger was a big fuck you to all us original Ranger fans. Ranger 150. Fuck off. I don't give a rat fuck how big a vehicle people choose to buy and long as they know how to goddamn drive it. I spend more time sitting waiting for some soccer mom trying to park her gynamous SUV that she's obviously terrified of than I'm happy about. This is a very generic Reddit opinion as this website is pretty anti-car to begin with. Please try again. This is a very popular opinion here. You could have saved your fingers and just written, most people are a nuisance. I only own one vehicle, and it's a 400 horsepower, 4-door, 8-foot bed pickup truck. It doesn't have a ridiculous lift, but why I can't get much bigger. The amount of shit I get even after I tell people I often carry a camper, motorcycles, kayaks, pull a camper is obnoxious. Yes, it may seem excessive to you, but I do use all of it. It's quite literally the powerhouse of my dogs and my life. Sure, it's not a practical daily driver. But considering I pack up my entire life and move every six months, it's practical for me. Has anyone else noticed that you're treated differently by other drivers depending on what you're driving? For example I drive a hatchback. My mum has an SUV and sometimes I'll drive that. When I drive the sub I never get tailgated. When I drive the hatchback 90 of the time I'm being tailgated. IDK maybe it's just me, but I always found that super weird. Driving on the crappy US roads is proper utilization of an SUV and truck. I don't know them or their lives, but people who drive vehicles bigger than mine really don't need them. Add a bunch of nonsense reasons why. I'm a 6 feet 4 inches dude. I would like to be comfortable when driving. Also live in North Dakota where snow is a thing. Out of all the people I know that have trucks SUVs, I can't think of a single one that doesn't use it for its intended purpose at least a few times a year. SUVs are generally better in the snow. 
Also wonder how many people in this thread call a friend with a truck every time they move or buy a new couch. And to anyone who points out deliveries that doesn't work well if you'll furnish your home with you stuff. I go camping, backpacking and kayaking in my Bic Lucerne. I like to joke that my Bic currently has more dirt on it than most those SUVs will ever see. Smiling face with open mouth and cold sweat. Also the bumpers. Their bumpers are usually well over the bumpers of other cars meaning in a collision they don't do anything to stop damage to the vehicles but are very efficient guillotines. I don't use my pickup nearly as much as I used to but when I do need it for something like picking up lumber, a sheet of plywood, taking large things to the dump, or buying a large piece of furniture I'm damn happy I have it. Sure I could get a smaller SUV and a utility trailer but then I need somewhere to put the trailer and it's far less convenient if I have to go get the trailer from home and then back out. That, and it's nice to have the truck for when it rains and snows and the Mustang can stay in the garage lol. I'm shopping for a large SUV. Tow a trailer most of the summer and do a lot of traveling. A smaller vehicle doesn't have the towing capacity. Anyways, I'm floored at the number of large U subs that are not equipped with a tow package. Most of them do not have one. So people just use these big vehicles for driving around town? I'm my experience, most people who have big SUVs or trucks do use them. They use them infrequently but enough that it's worth it. The most common example I can think of is needing to tow a boat a few times a year and take it out for the winter. Now 99 of the time they don't need it. But it's still financially smarter to get something capable of that compared to renting something a few times a year. Or at least it was 4 years ago not as sure now since car prices are whack. I'll drive what I want. The infrastructure was built for the larger vehicles i.e. semis, delivery trucks. The majority of the USA is rural. Your post is based on your experience and limited point of view. I will keep my Ram 3500 Dually and 40 feet toy hauler. Every single street corner in my town is now a blind corner because big dumb trucks are parked in every spot. This town was not designed with cars this big in mind and it is extremely unsafe. It's hard to find a car without damage on it because there are so many accidents. What is the hate boner for trucks on Reddit for? For families of 3 plus kids I get the large SUV, but pickup trucks? What exactly is an everyday schmo hauling? If you work manual labor and carry tools and such I get it, but what do we ever haul around that warrants a truck especially if you live in the city? Don't ask for help moving. Or to pick something up at Home Depot for YA. Worst in my opinion are the huge shiny pickup trucks, never used for anything other than operator douchebaggery. I never understood this subreddit. Are you supposed to up that if you agree with the opinion or if you agree that it's unpopular and therefore don't agree? Most people with cars aren't even using them most of the time. They just sit around until they get moved and then they just sit there until THRY get moved again. Practically no one actually uses their vehicles most of the time. Trucks I understand but SUVs don't most people I've seen with them use them often even if it's just to take three kids to school or sports with all their crap. A lot of people have pickups for terrible roads around the Midwest and elsewhere. How about you stop looking to everyone else and take a better look at yourself? I'll drive what I want and I do drive a 3500 pickup. I work out of it, but it's also safer than the tiny BS cars we all would drive if pansies like yourself got their way. It's not really utilizing them in the sense of the term but one of the driving reasons I got an F350 was for crash situations. In the event where I'm in a crash I want the largest and heaviest vehicle I can get my hands on to ensure that I come out on top in a crash. I don't want to get injured if I can help it so I rely on the fact that unless I head on a semi that my truck will tear through just about any car that hits me keeping me safe. As for subs I find them useless as they don't even have the same ability to withstand a hit and tend to roll over on heavy impact. Not unpopular. This is a wildly popular opinion. I don't know how anyone can spend a moment on this website and think otherwise. 
I feel like it's not an unpopular opinion so much as straight-up truth. 